Hello, in this Pixaflux video tutorial, you will learn how to create procedural textures. The procedural texture nodes are located in the texture nodes group in the toolbar. Drag and drop a Perlin texture node into the graph viewport. Procedural textures are not displayed in the image viewport, so we need a render texture node to render textures into images. Drag a render texture node and drop it after the Perlin texture node to auto-connect them. The render texture node defines the image size and position, and the texture space that will be rendered. To preview the textures you are working with, use the Texture Preview window. In the Textures toolbar, you'll find nodes that generate textures, nodes that modify the texture space, nodes that modify the texture color, and nodes that mix multiple textures together. Let's generate a few more textures. Drag and drop a below texture node and edit its attributes. Drag and drop a Voronoi texture and edit its attributes. The image texture node converts an image into a procedural texture. Drag and drop a reader node and open a bitmap file. Drag and drop an image texture node. The texture transform node transforms the texture space. The Texture Preview window allows to preview the active texture or the display texture. Set the target to display texture and select the image texture and click A to set it as the active node. The Texture Clamp node modifies the colors of the texture. The Texture Maximum node mixes two textures, returning a color with the highest value on each channel. And the Texture Blend node mixes two textures using a Blend Mode algorithm, Opacity and a Mask Texture. This is how you can create procedural textures in Pixaflux. Visit Pixaflux's wiki for documentation for each procedural texture node. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.